During the University of North Alabama's dominating decade of the 1990s, Ronald McKinnon's name became synonymous with championships and individual hardware. The stellar linebacker led the Lions to the Division II National Championships in 1993, 1994, and 1995, marking the first time in NCAA history that a school had won three consecutive football championships. In each of the three championship games, McKinnon was voted the game's defensive, most valuable player. A four-time All-Gulf South Conference choice and a three-time first-team All-American pick, Ronald was selected as the 1995 winner of the Harlan Hill Trophy, which is Division II's equivalent to the Heisman. In winning the Hill Trophy, McKinnon became the first ever defensive player so honored. His career stats at North Alabama are simply staggering. He was credited with 621 tackles, including 175 in 1995. He also had 11 tackles for losses that year, along with four sacks and four interceptions. Despite his brilliant college career, Ronald went undrafted in the 1996 NFL lottery. Arizona signed him as a free agent, and he quickly proved the talent scouts wrong, earning a starting spot for the Cardinals, a spot that he would hold until the 2004 season. He concluded his 11-year NFL career in 2006 with the New Orleans Saints. During his professional seasons, he compiled more than 1,000 tackles and picked off 10 passes. In the 2001 season, he pulled the defensive rarity of scoring two touchdowns, one on an interception return, and the other on a fumble recovery and a run for six. His post-career honors keep coming in. The Gulf South Conference picked him as the league's defensive player of the quarter century for the 25-year span from 1970 to 1995. In 2008, he was elected to membership in the College Football Hall of Fame. Now the Fort Rucker native joins the all-time great athletes of his home state as a member of the State of Alabama Sports Hall of Fame.